How's it going, my people? This is your boy, Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and keeping your eyes on the road. Handle everything you got to handle, no matter what it is, bad, good, don't matter. Handle it, guys. Do not be a uh, responsibility hoarder. You all know the drill, okay? Let me give you guys some good advice. I know a lot of you guys are married or in a relationship with a kid. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes one of you guys is too tired to take care of the kid and all that. Men, we have to step up and fulfill our roles. Now, I'm going to tell you what I do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes my wife comes home, she's tired and stuff like that. And yes, it might be her turn to watch the baby because either I've been watching her all day after work or whatnot or whatever. But if my wife comes home tired, you know what I'm saying, and I see she's tired, why not? You know what I'm saying, put a little bit more of a burden on me and take care of the baby myself. You know what I'm saying? Why not? You know, give her a break, you know, because later on she'll give me a break. We have to remember our roles and treat women like princesses and respect them like we want that respect back. You know, if we can't treat these women like hoes and stuff like that and expect them to love us back. We have to remember our roles so women won't forget theirs. Tupac said it himself, guys. Okay. Take a time off, go buy your woman a rose, surprise her. Do we have to go back to that, my people. If not, we're all gonna fail, and the people that want to see us fail are gonna win. Anyways, with that being said, my people, let's get on with the video. Now, my people, this picture right here is the one I wanted to show you guys. This is a picture of Mr. Tupac Shakur in 2002. Okay. This picture was sent to his family to let them know he was all right. Now, as you can see, he might be a little scrubby and stuff like that. You've heard uh, Mo Prem and uh, other people say that he was uh, uh, getting very religious by the end of 96. Uh, and right here, what to me, apparent to me, what it looks like is like he's Muslim and he might have a, one of, uh, a Muslim cap. But, you know, I might be wrong. I might I might be wrong, but I'm just going off what, you know, has been set out there, but this picture I got from somebody very close to the family, and been telling me about this picture for a while now, been telling me that this is the only picture he would actually go out on a limb and put his name behind and say, this is Pac, okay? Now, some of his family members have also said this. I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not going to go out and say that, you know what I'm saying, because I respect people's Privacy and their words, you know, not everybody wants to be looked at as they still think Pac's alive, you know, for one reason or another. But everybody knows deep in their heart that that's the only reasonable explanation because there's no proof that he died. Everything is iffy. The death report is off the weight. I mean, but you know how some people are. You don't want to believe it. You don't want to believe it. You don't want to believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like for a mother, when people are telling her secondhand that, yeah, hey, your son's over there doing drugs or he's a gangbanger. She don't want to believe it. She don't want to believe it until the person gets shot. You know what I'm saying? Because not everybody was in on the plot. You know, certain people went on it. You know, contra uh, contrary to what a lot of people might believe, not a there wasn't a million people involved in this. There was just a couple of people, you know, very, 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 very trusted people to him. Okay, now, this picture right here, you can tell Pac is a little scruffy, you know, but this picture was sent to let his family know that, you know, he's okay and he's handling his business. You don't see all the jewels and stuff like that, but you do see the nose ring. Uh, but this is 100% man proof that Tupac is alive. And this is the picture that y'all been waiting for. And again... People, people keep asking, well, where's the proof? Where's the proof of this? Where's the proof of that? Where's the proof? The, the Wired Up TV community is here for the, for, um, for the Tupac community, period, in general. We're here for everybody, my people. We accept every opinion, whether you believe Pac's alive, whether you believe Pac's alive and he's you know, killing his enemies, you know, whether you believe Pac's in Africa or in Cuba, we're here to solve this and find Pac. You know what I'm saying? 
we're not here to judge anybody's opinions and stuff like that. Now, whether you believe Pac is resting in peace, you know what I'm saying? We welcome you guys to give you guys opinions because your opinions and your knowledge can lead us to something else, okay? So we respect everybody here and much shout out to the whole Tupac community like we always say, guys, okay? But yeah, um, this is a very interesting uh, picture here, you know, uh, if you guys heard that uh, uh, allegedly Tupac was getting very religious by the end of, you know, 96, and um, a lot of his family members and friends have said that, that he was crossing more over into the Muslim side, you know, he was experienced, uh, experimenting reading the Bible, reading different kinds of religious books, you, you, you even heard this in the Vibe interview when he was talking about religion, attacking the religion of Catholicism and Christianity, and you know, various religions, with all due respect though. You know, he didn't go ahead and just spit on the religions. He gave his opinion of what he believed. And it was a very educated opinion, and it was explained to us, okay? But with that being said, a lot of his family and friends said he was turning very religious and was crossing more over towards the Muslim side, okay? Now, from what I understand is that, uh, no, from what I understand, this is what I've been told, okay? That this is a picture, you know, of Pac. You know, wearing, you know, well, dressed, you know, in Muslim attire. You can't see it here, obviously, but <clears throat> that's why he's letting his beard grow, uh, grow and all that stuff. Now, a lot, this picture here has sparked a lot of red flags about Mr. Napoleon. Does Napoleon know where Tupac is? You know, can he be with Napoleon over there? Does, why, why did Napoleon all of a sudden move from America all the way to the Middle East? I mean, why do he do that? So this is popping up a lot of questions, and I want the Wired Up TV family to reach out and do your research, okay? Send whatever you got, any information about anything to WiredUpTV4U at gmail.com, WiredUpTV4U at gmail.com. I appreciate everybody sending your, um, your opinions, your research, and, and everything, guys. You have the choice to get credit or to be anonymous. You even have the choice to make the, you know, to come on the video and talk yourself. The Wire TV shows you y'all love. This channel is for the people, okay? It's for y'all, you know? And, and like I was telling you guys, you know what I'm saying? My dream is to have a barbecue, man, a big old fucking at the park with pools and jumpers for the kids, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you drink alcohol, you drink safely alcohol right there. And just have a big bash and everybody from the Wired Up TV and the whole Tupac community, every channel get together, man, and party as a community, man. And like, and I believe only like that we can get shit popping, whether it's finding Tupac or finding Biggie Smalls is killer because we're on both those tips, man, you know. And uh, the Wired Up TV family is on researching about everybody, Easy e um, Tupac, anybody, man, you know what I'm saying? Much love. But yeah, guys, uh, this picture right here. Is proof. People keep asking, well, show us proof. What proof do you got? We keep dropping proof after proof after proof after proof. Okay. The only proof I hear about Tupac being dead are words and a death certificate that says he was six foot something and 215 pounds. Who was this? You know, uh, was this guy Tupac Shakur or was it George Foreman? I mean, you know, you could, it's... You know, I don't think you can get the measurement wrong. I mean, when you die, do you grow? <laughs> do you gain weight? I know when you die, uh, you know, you lose control of your bowel movements and you shit. So ain't that supposed to make you lose weight, not gain weight? I mean, I don't know. I'm confused here, guys, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it's just all these pictures, like the one where Tupac shooting crabs, and you see his double right behind him. Uh, I mean, man, there's just so much proof. So much tangible evidence, so many confusing factors in this thing. With the Channel Zero News, the girl said, who's going to get confused that a helicopter dropped and went? I mean, who's going to get that confused? And even if you do, you know, if she would have made a mistake and really met an ambulance, she would have been, oh, I mean the ambulance. She clearly said a helicopter came and picked up Tupac. Okay, helicopter came and picked up Tupac. Okay, now here's another picture of Mr. Tupac Shakur. Now, this is a picture that we've gotten from research and things like that. Um, this picture is supposed, supposedly, supposedly alleged uh, picture of when he got out the hospital. 
uh, September 6th, you know, when he, he allegedly got shot. You know, this picture uh, is allegedly, um, this one I did not get from the family or anything or anybody close to the family or anything like that. Okay, this picture we got from another source and um, it's believed to be a picture of him immediately after the Vegas plot. And um, a lot of people say this is a picture of him when he touched down in Somalia. Now, remember what happened the day, the 14th, the day after Pac allegedly, supposedly passed away, which he did not Pac's alive. He was spotted in Somalia. I mean, there was, it was on the news. It was everywhere. I mean, um, all, every Somalian was on pay for most. That's Tupac. That's Tupac. And remember, he was wearing a blue hoodie sweater, okay? And he was wearing what it looked like bandages on his head or something, or a white beanie, okay? This is alleged to be the picture of him in Somalia that somebody snapped or took on the way out of the airport and stuff. Now, if you guys can remember that incident, it was the day after Pac allegedly passed that he was spotted in Somalia, and those people went crazy. Now, well, you could say, well, those people don't know who Tupac is, man. Do they have TVs? Yes, they have TVs. And let me tell you one thing. Tupac was more, even more famous across, across the sea than he was in America. And y'all need to recognize that and realize that, okay? He is more famous across seas. I have so many... Uh, subscribers from Africa, from the Middle East, you guys wouldn't believe, man. Shout out to all the whole Middle East and Africa, you know, to everybody. I have subscribers in Europe, man. You guys would not believe how big Tupac is, you know, overseas. So, yeah, they know how he looks. Yeah, they recognize him. Yeah, they had pictures. Of course, they've seen his videos, his albums. They're not stupid. Tupac is alive. We have more proof Way more proof, video proof, documental proof that he's alive than him being dead. All we hear is words and stories and a fucking death certificate that makes no fucking sense. Hussein Fatal says, oh, we, they, they, the, the outlaws were smoking on somebody's ashes. I don't know whose fucking ashes they were. <laughs> they could have been, Pac. Who knows? He, let, he chose to leave quietly. I mean... Shook straight flat out saying Tupac is alive on more than one occasion. For what? What does he get out of it? He ain't making no money out of Pac. What the fuck does he get out of saying that? Mo Prem said the same thing. Tretch said the same thing. Why? They get nothing out of it. But yet we're, we're being told that it's disrespectful to talk about him being dead. You know, a lot of people say it's disrespectful. You know, and I respect the opinions. I can understand why they think it's disrespectful, but his own family is saying this and his own friends are saying this, you know. So that's a debate that's out there on the table. Now, I don't want to say that the people that think it's disrespectful are, are wrong or the people that think that they're just keeping Tupac's name alive and his family says it are wrong either, okay. I'm just putting both sides out there and seeing what you guys think. All right, but guys, we came through with it. I want you guys to comment, subscribe, like, and share this video to everybody that you know. Okay, my people? Now, with that being said, keep your head up. Keep positive. Okay? Keep on grind. Keep, you know, stay on that grind. And like I always tell you guys, my people, always stay wired up. God bless, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, my people.